Hello and welcome back to Gamer Muscle Videos. Now in this video I wanted to quickly show you how you can get Twitch chat or YouTube chat displayed in any virtual reality game or for that matter any Windows window displayed in any virtual reality game using this application called OpenVR Desktop Display Portal. Now what this application does is it grabs any window and then places it inside of the Steam VR overlay. What this means is once you've got a window displayed in the Steam VR overlay, it's uh, completely agnostic and unaware of the game that you're playing and will keep displaying this window on your screen, either attached to your controller, so you can flip your controller and uh, view what's what's on your window, or you can lock it to your headset or you can lock it to a world position so that when you turn around you can see your window. In our case, what we're doing is we're using it to capture a Restream.io chat window, specifically because Restream has a, the Restream chat application has a, the ability to adjust the fonts and just make it really clear so you can position it in the game world uh, quite and have it quite small and at quite a distance and still have the text be very legible, which is for me particularly useful because we mostly play driving simulators where I don't want to have to pick up my controller to view this window. Um, I just want to uh, have it positioned on a steering wheel so I can see it in game and then react to the chat room. So download OpenVR, des des Open, OpenVR Desktop Display Portal. I've put it in the uh, video description. And then once you've downloaded it, you simply run it and it loads as a Unity application. When in the application, you can then just pick which window you want. In our case, we've got the um, Restream IO chat open. So we just click chat and it's now picked that, that window. When you first launch the program and uh, capture your window, you will have to play hide and seek a bit and find the window. But there you go. You can see here it is located in 3D space, positioned uh, nicely on the floor. Now we've got this set up. So it's positioned on our steering wheel and you'll see here We've got predefined profiles that we can pick from. Let me just make this a bit bigger so it's more clear for you guys. So we've got profiles here that we can pick from to load it in specific places in the in the uh, 3D world. Now, if you want, you can just have it on your controller so that you can move it around. But personally, for driving simulators and the type of stuff we do, we just want to lock it to a world space position to be able to uh, stick it on a wheel, as I say, and then, then it's really nice and easy to read whilst we're driving, allowing us to interact with our chat room. Now you can do fine adjustments by using the sliders in the application. And you can uh, adjust things like its actual, its, its horizontal position, its uh, height, its depth, and uh, you've got also control over its angle tilt, and as well as many other options. Now, something I found quite useful for Twitch chat, especially if you're just mirroring a, a video or another, you know, so, some Windows window, then you might not want to do this. But if you're using Twitch chat in general, what you'll want is something that allows you to see the chat, but it's not uh, pervasive in terms of it getting in the way of the gameplay. So what I also tend to do is add 200 here, which changes the way the window is focused and ends up basically cropping the window. So we just end up with a nice small little chat room that we can position in the game world. Now what I'll do now is I'll go over to an actual game with us using it so you can have an idea of what it looks like whilst we're actually using it. Okay, so we've now jumped into Assetto Corsa and uh, you can see that Assetto Corsa is a really awesome driving simulator with VR support, but if you look right in front of us here, we've got our little captured window and chat room. And the nice thing is, as I say, with us using Restream.io, we've been able to set the font and everything nice and clearly. And we've also set it with the VR desktop window capture app so that it's slightly transparent. And we can drive and race or do whatever we're doing in the game without it getting in the way. But then as the chat room goes on, as people send us messages, we can just glance down, read them and interact with people in Twitch. Of course, as I say, you don't have to be capturing Twitch chat. You, you say you're playing a really boring game like a flight simulator or maybe doing oval racing or an endurance race. You could just have erotic camel videos displayed there or anything displayed 
on your dash. It's completely up to you. But it's absolutely fantastic. So big credit to the guys that put this app together. And it's certainly very useful for those of us that like to do streaming whilst playing virtual reality games. Now, before we finish the video off, there are a couple of things worth noting. First of all, you can use your Steam controller when you've got the window set to world positioning. You can use your Steam controller to grab onto the window and position it wherever you want in the world space. This will save you a lot of time rather than uh, fiddling with all these little dials and knobs trying to get it just right. Having said that, sometimes it bugs out and sometimes you can't find it in the first place. So it's worth first loading this up with you stood in the middle of your room and then having a little bit of a look around to find out where indeed the window is. Now secondly, there are some bugs with this and I have noticed that occasionally it can cause Steam VR to hang. I haven't found the specific causes for it to, to hang, but it might be to do with the order in which you load Steam VR and OpenVR desktop display up. I have done two, three, four hour long streams without it crashing though. So it seems that once you've got things working, you're okay. It's just that initial startup, you might find that Steam VR hangs. So watch out for that. And then finally, the uh, dials sometimes automatically scroll. Uh, so you'll try and select something, uh, like for, you might be able to see this on here. You try and select something and you'll see it's scrolling up automatically. And it does this for a lot of the dials and sliders and it can be really irritating. For those of you that want a, uh, a quick idea of the main functions that you can change, on the bottom right here you can change the opacity um, of, the, of the display, of the window as it's displayed in the world and also the scale. Now we've set the scale to version uh, to version to 0.1, which has made it nice and small in the game world. And as you can see how we've positioned it, it works out pretty well. So you might have to scale it down. But if you can't find the window initially, setting this scale to really large is a good way to win at Windows uh, OpenVR Desktop Window Hide and Seek. The software also has the option for you to have a animation on the window so that it's small until you look at it and when you look at it it becomes larger now we did test this out uh, but in the end for the use of uh, twitch and youtube chat it was just easier to have it being a set size it's just legible with a bit of opacity on it rather than having something that pops up and goes down uh, this this will probably depend largely on if you've got the window attached to your controller instead of the world space um, or if you've got it attached to uh, I was going to say attached headset, but actually you, you just don't want to use that. Having it attached to headset doesn't work very well at all because it blocks up most of you uh, <laughs> and it's just not convenient. So yeah, it's, I, I've just found it better just having it as a non-animated locked in the world space for driving simulators. And then if it's on the back of your controller, I could see how the animations would be useful. Now, if you're only ever going to use Twitch chat and you don't need Windows Capture, there is a very similar app that works in pretty much exactly the same way called OpenVR Twitch Chat. So you might want to check that out. But I found the OpenVR Desktop Display Portal was a lot better and a lot more versatile. And just because of the way you can capture Restream IO with its, with its window options and font options and everything else, overall just made it more versatile and, uh, and easier, more legible and easier to use in VR. But you might want to check out the open vr twitch chat app which i'll also link in the video description but i think that pretty much covers the basics and will get you set up and going with open vr desktop display portal uh, as i said absolutely fantastic job by the developers really appreciate them putting this together it really is a godsend for those of us that do uh, streaming in vr and uh, you, you know it's a real big pain in the ass having to use the desktop view by binding a button to see the desktop to then see the chat room or taking your headset off. It's just not practical. Uh, lastly, if you've got Oculus VR and you're playing VR games with the Oculus Rift, you can still use this, but you will have to load into the Steam VR overlay first. So it'll only work if you're going through Steam VR because this is an application that uses the open VR infrastructure to display the window. So I hope my video was helpful. I hope uh, you're all now set up and ready to go and uh, stream in virtual reality. 
If it was, please click the like button, subscribe, and if you've got any questions, just drop them in the comments. I will, uh, of course, be uploading more videos very soon. We also stream on our Twitch channel, Game of Muscle videos on Twitch, or might just be Game of Muscle, I can never remember. Make sure you uh, follow us on there as well. Until the next video, goodbye.